Thank you for tuning in to this edition of Bukilong. This is the show that celebrates individuals who have overcome extreme challenges and have come out victorious. Our very own unsung heroes and heroines, I am your host, Bule Molebati. A very warm welcome to you. In South Africa, the period of the 3rd of November to the 3rd of December has been declared Disability Rights Awareness Month. The 3rd of December is the International Day of Persons with Disabilities and is also celebrated as National Disability Rights Awareness Day. The Disability Awareness Month offered an opportunity for all of us to remove barriers and to improve the quality of life of people with disabilities through concrete action. The operative word here is action. This week we hear the story of many baby Maposa and the action she continues to take in assisting persons with disabilities. This is her story. Hammanskral is a semi-urban and semi-rural dwelling on the outskirts of Tswane. Infrastructure for the handicapped has been lacking in these communities. A good Samaritan Mrs. Baby Maposa noticed the problem and her regular interaction with the disabled at the local clinic touched her heart. She started the Udirle Disability Center more than a decade ago and has so far managed to assist more than 70 disabled and needy children from the community. Udiri Leng 2002 on the 2nd of September. With five fully able children of her own, Mrs. Maposa took on to the task at hand and started approaching community members for help to find disabled children. Baby Maposa and Kalilu Kumbazi again, 2 September 2002. Last Thomas is sent. Lang Kwan Baby Maposa. Kickstarting his search for disabled children around Temba in Hamanskral was no easy task, as Mrs. Maposa, better known as Mama Baby, had to recruit people who knew the township better than she did. Her first attempt was a door to door campaign. It wasn't easy to do the door to door campaign. You understand? Nitimangena. One day, in Timang Fuga, Ixen, Guagua figure Gimuguti, milling hambing your buffoon, and Angazi Hamaskral, and Angaz gooting your buffoon, Angaz no gooting your calap. In ye and next door, you figure and cocot in a corn. Tell about disability, but as bass, a snap. Only getting three children and eight volunteers from her outreach, Mama Baby knew that there were more disabled children who needed help. She persisted and called for local media to assist. And the essence is cut in a slow as a ham, but we won't buy rule as always. Conovacella, which is nothing in total. No longer to the next one, and I'm going to go to the bachelor. Good tender when I saw so never to understand the interfan and Alena Lena. The assistance she got from the local media saw the number of disabled people increase. She was now faced with a bigger challenge where to accommodate them. See to me, lape old solo pale. See to me, lap. Nkalinga three, and then buy a bag of lelega, go buy five. Nkonuksala the whole month. Nga yinlin. Nilala kona la payan. Manya ikaya niya just ngogyo kesa ngbui, just ngogyo kesa ngbui yang lala kona la payan. To make sure guti abantu na bayaza, and then ibaya kesa balala nyesingubo is right. Just as she thought she had reached a breakthrough, Mama Baby was faced with more challenges. The building that she had secured had structural problems and was unsafe for human settlement. Scarella in front, satlina yona, satlina yona, and then uguti at least si tole inda uyuglala. Besi divide le kui sense ama a sleeping room la payana, and then ikishi. And then since the office, 
Amen. So we starting a primer stuff. Speaking a primer stuff. I'm a gastrola makul. Because yo, he would swallow pili be. Anga zguting to be injan. Abantu be bati no mabange na pagati. Babone ongati izowa. And then uke wabona na bantu abafanele baksize. Against all odds, Mama Baby started pursuing donors and sponsors to help run the shelter. I started to 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 apply to the donors. Saying funa is ten manjeng funa nindao. Funa n the campaign is a Caesar Uguti is a Kale. Even so, fortunately enough for Nantwala a Tenga e newspaper every day. Every day, Matenga won't get Pretoria news daily sun, so we tenny won't get Uguti and Konotola. I'm a address, I'm a campaign, Pagat, and then wa kopulula ganja lo ganja then thenga ma envelope e e, e post office thenga ama stamp we 200 rand lapho kunye we 500 rand sibala ama letter singakapha ne computer sibala ngisandla siyabala sifaka ema mina nyabala laba yana bafaka e ema envelope ini laba bafaka kuma stamp maqeda lapha thola nge nge refuse back ama letter lawa yana lapho kunye ama Bex I too. A post office be se bas. Mama when I e refuse back a black by as good yo udirile u baby ma posa loy. Her efforts started paying off. More and more donors and sponsors came on board. Eh mele after two months Bangaga respond. After three months Bangaga respond nya pla nya pala food. Nabapalel. Amanya ayabuya abuya ati regret. Okay, agna problem. Pale food. Uh, because God is great and God is always there for us. Ah, uh, guaba kona e e e a amanya a responda. Gua responda e s a p. Brewer. Masenge la e e kondo. It was wonderful. Masli tela ama donationi by adopta e udirile. Until kwazi kwa figure uguti bazo ba funa uguti mfuni isten bazo kwa zuguti ba basakele. With the help of the donors and sponsors, Mama Baby and volunteer staff members managed to attend further training to learn how to care for disabled children. Naritrine la ko menpawa. Yeah, but train a cabana, or swans are about to rebe and hova tapisa, swans are getting most of a racama sipiaker, yeah, masarabara pels. So it's bow ruta or swans of tapisa young, uscate cova cause the thing, a gau cause a hula, la mumcoco tong, understand. So never ruta everything, stuff like that. The Udirila staff members are now confident teachers to the community of Hammonskral and have been teaching others about disabled children. Rabera kaka di profound, kama udiril, the most tuki di profound. Bana ba kama rona raba raba kraya sa ho kraya, ba kona ho kraya, ba kona ho ho mopa, ba kona ho eza kadi kadi pente, ba kona ho tami kaka di pente, wa ba penti sa wa eza ng dilo dilo tao chona le chona tuwa kraya ba eza. John Tema is one of the learners at Udirila Center that Mama Baby found neglected. After 10 years at the center, the 26-year-old is enjoying his new home and has a clearer vision about his future. Remarkable. What are the biggest misconceptions with regards to persons with disabilities and how do we move past these? Share your thoughts on Twitter, of course, at Bupilong Show, and you can also email us bupilong at sabc.co.za. We continue with the story of Mayor Baby Maposa right after this.
GovTech is South Africa's premier ICT event hosted by CETA. Our theme for GovTech 2014 is a government empowered by technology. Our topics will explore e-government, infrastructure and broadband, reducing the cost of ICT and service delivery, best practice, innovation and success stories. Join us at the Durban ICC on 2nd to 5th November 2014. Register now on www.govtech.co.za. Zoom into Africa. This is Ghana. The president is Mr. John Dramani Mahama. Ghana got independent from the United Kingdom on 6 March in 1957. The population is more than 25 million people. One of Ghana's major languages spoken is English. Monetary unit is CD. Welcome back to Bupelong, a place of hope. Living with disabilities can be difficult enough as it is. Add poverty to the equation and the hardships increases. According to the World Health Organization, at least 81 million people in Africa are affected by some form of a disability. Unfortunately, in some cultures here, a disability is viewed as a curse or the result of witchcraft. This makes some families hide affected children, further leading to social stigma. MEP Baby Maposa aims at addressing all of of the above problems through the Udirile Disability Center. Here's how. The success of Udirile Disability Center encouraged more community participation in improving the rights of disabled and mentally challenged people in Hamanskral. Many other volunteers followed in Mrs. Baby Maposa's footsteps and started their own centers in different parts of the Hamanskral Township. Mrs. Maposa got the gift to help others from her late father, who also ran a community centre that taught young boys technical skills. Her late father ran a community skills development centre in Delmas Mpumalanga. This thing is Nitetegu Baba Wam. Mama Baby acknowledges that she couldn't have won this fight on her own. community. together. Susan Baum, a guardian to Elena at Udirile Disability Center, testifies to the change she saw after her child Mpo was admitted to the school. So in the house, after I was in the school, 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 I was in Mama Baby doesn't only have love for the disabled, but for everyone around her, and she is better known as a people's person. Mama Baby Mama Baby 
o khone go bana le bona bana ba gape ka wena ra phila ka bana ba ne ka wena re khona o itse gore bana ba ba teng montle ne ka wena re khona o itse gore bana ba ba tshona le rena ba phela rena le le rato fo bona ka mama baby the department of health supports the work mama baby began in the district they send in their nurses and doctors to monitor the children's health from time to time I thank Ukhuri Riberg Saneli Department ukuthi basilethele imobile every month ezoba nikeza imedication Maintaining a healthy marriage and five children mama baby never gave up because of the support she received from her family It, it was so wonderful the support in the house it was so wonderful they were supported me fully left and right her husband has been a pillar of strength and sacrifice his comfort for the well-being of mama baby's special children because the best lala monday until friday friday u baba beng nikeza i meng sasebenzi i even yake bis ba collect abantwana monday friday is ba wisela emakai ukuthi weekend isikhona ke wenza ama washing this and that so weekend mina no baba besilalale because of abantu botswala bekuyi strat esibizi sisaba ukuthi bazosigcekezela protecting the special needs children with all she can mama baby urges the community not to call the disabled with pain inflicting names before i started neba neba rata gore ke dimbongolo ka ba bolela ka re i hate le fukula mongolo a ke le batle even le he ke re event the function i used to preach that i ke le batle le fukula mongolo a ke le batle le fukula sekhole because this Uh, uh, this child she or he can be able to do something passion and drive help mama baby answer to the call of helping build a better and attentive community of hamans girl i'm not doing this for my own benefit i'm doing this for the com- com- community and i'm doing this for the benefit of the kids not for me or my possess family Now with happy and liberated disabled children, Hamans Grass stands to be a community that unites in freedom and democracy for all. Um mama bi wa rata eh wa thomela wa rekela dijo eh le ge a wa rekela dilo dintsi wa re tsamaisa Mr. Sarna ke mama pindi ke na rope di sang re jo trip ya nj wa re botsa re ka e kae re tsama ka kwanthama ya mosculo After the break we hear more from our Deputy Minister of Social Development Henrietta Bogopani Zulu on Disability Awareness Month Stay with Bopilo an island the republic of extra call 29 december get your tickets now
Welcome back to Bopilong. Our producer, Nombusa Masangu, caught up with Deputy Minister of Social Development, Henrietta Bokopani Zulu, and asked her about the impact that Disability Awareness Month has since 1997. Uh, the country acknowledged its challenges and its limitations when it comes to issues of disability. So as a result, they felt that just one day does not necessarily assist the country to understand and to be able to come up with strategies, but also to celebrate to acknowledge the challenges. You can't do it in one day for such a complex uh, matter like disability. Is the government satisfied with the progress made in relation to the rights of persons living with disability? I think government, each, every government can never be satisfied um, with, when people are not where government itself have set the targets or government has, has, has determined that this is what a developmental state should look like, this is what a South African should look like, and disabled people are not different. So they form part of the broader South African community, and as a result, the fact that the country itself is still work in progress on a different issues around social uh, uh, cohesion, disability forms part of that. So no, we are not satisfied in terms of the progress we have made on disability. Um, in our case study this week, in our program, we, we met up with a lady called Miss Baby Maposa. She started a disability centre in Hammanskral. To what extent does your department assist such people? In the interest of trying to do good, there is also a, a, a whole lot of other challenges that comes with the establishment of disability centres. But we are, as a department, in the progress of... Um, we provide a lot of financial support to centers for disabled people. We monitor and evaluate compliance, but we also uh, implement uh, programs that ensures that uh, the level of abuse against children and adults with disabilities in institutions are reduced. And how often are those centers visited? Obviously, the social workers in those communities have the responsibility as well as the ward committee members and the ward councillors because those centres are, are locally based. They are supposed to form part of every second week, every third week, uh, let's say minimally once a month for the, the categories of people. But for us at a national level, it's not possible um, that we are going to be visiting each and every centre. Uh, it's humanly impossible for us to do so. But of course, where communities highlight challenges, we tend to prioritize, but in terms of uh, provinces, the provincial MECs would also visit centers more than we would because they are able to break their provinces down and they are able to, to, to manage because these centers are also registered at a provincial level. If one witnesses a person, a disabled person being abused or rather mistreated, how can they report it and where, and how efficient are the services? It would obviously differ from case to case, but uh, the abuse is reported with, to the local social worker or to any nearest police station um, where then a, 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 what we call a response team can then be put together. Um, and a, 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 depending on the type of disability, if it's a blind person, there will be different mechanisms followed. If it's a person with intellectual disability, there will be different mechanisms. So there's no one size fits all in terms of intervention levels. The interventions must respond to the disability type. And now your theme for 2014's National Disability Rights Awareness Month is sustainable development. What are some of the plans at hand? The whole theme is sustainable development promise, promise of technology. So the focus as we go towards the sustainable development goals, but also as we conclude the Millennium Development Goals, the intention is to look at to what extent does technology um, assist in, in, in whether improving the lives, everyday life of people with disabilities, where, and how does technology technology maybe improve place. So our, our approach is obviously to, uh, to raise the level of awareness of technologies out there, passing on 
highlighting and educating communities on technologies out there. That's the first thing. But the second thing is also for us to to evaluate bad technologies on technology. And our remote areas like Hamanskral, as our subject is from Hamanskral, also on your agenda to the development. programs we do have disability awards if I have to answer the question broadly on the 2nd of December annually 